Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardner. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. In today's video, we are talking about a slightly rare succulent. Uh, this was a Korean import. It's called as Echeveria mina. Now putting this in level difficult, it's because um, if you are from an environment that is very humid, uh, it has a lot of moisture or if you're just a beginner or if you're just starting off with succulent this is going to be a slightly difficult succulent uh, because it is a very rare hybrid called as Echeveria mina uh, it does not like to be sitting in a moist soil for a very long time it easily gets rotted uh, it prefers a very lean nutrient soil the soil has to be loose porous and well draining and should dry out before you water again so ensure that the soil is completely bone dry before you water again now i'm not very sure if you're going to find this because it's a very rare succulent but i thought i'll just give you a little bit information about the succulent uh, i had bought three of these and unfortunately two of them died because they were not able to acclimate in the new environment and this is the only one that's left uh, so far it's doing quite well it's still very curled up but eventually it will start to open up it has a very dark burgundy color it requires a good amount of morning direct sunlight for five to six hours and you can even keep it in indirect bright light uh, but the colors are going to reduce if you're going to keep it in indirect bright light now the place where i have kept this succulent it tends to get a good amount of morning direct sunlight for five to six hours post which it gets indirect afternoon sunlight so that's why it's very colored and it's very compact right now now because it belongs to the genus of Echeveria, it tends to go dormant during the winters and summer is its growing period. Now again, please do not add too much of nutrients to hybrids because they cannot handle too much of nutrient soil. Ensure that the organic matter or the nutrients in the soil is very lean and very minimum. They do not prefer a lot of nutrients. Uh, whatever nutrients is present in the soil is more than enough for them to grow. Uh, a lot of times we buy these potting mixes online which already have a fair amount of uh, nutrients added so we do not need to add any more nutrients at least for a year and a year and a half because a lot of the uh, potting mixes that you tend to see online it's already mentioned organic succulent soil or at times if you tend to see the contents of the soil mix you will find that there is a little bit amount of nutrients in the soil now that nutrients is more than enough for your succulents you do not need to bombard them with more nutrients because when you're going to add too much of nutrients in the soil it not only makes the succulent weaker apart from that there is going to be a lot of artificial growth now when i say about artificial growth there are going to be unnecessary blooms on the succulent if the succulent is not getting a lot of light it will start to stretch which kind of a lot of people think that stretching is uh, equal to growth now when a succulent starts to stretch it is not a very good sign it shows that the succulent is lacking light it is not the actual growth apart from that making the succulent weak it also tends to invite unwanted things in your soil like fungus mold mealybugs and other stuff so try to keep your soil as lean in nutrients as you can a lot of people think that by adding fertilizers the succulents are going to grow like super fast like very very fast but that's not the case the succulent in fact will start to get even more weaker there are high chances that the succulent might even get affected with mold fungus uh, most common is the uh, mildew as well so you have to be extremely careful that you do not put in a lot of fertilizers or nutrients in the soil so that's all about this beautiful variety of uh, echeveria if you are or if you tend to find a succulent and if you're just a beginner i would just say just wait for some time it was going to be slightly difficult for you uh, because a lot of these rare hybrid succulents uh, apart from the climate and environment experience matters a lot because they can be very fragile especially in the initial stage when you get the succulent uh, the acclimation period is the most crucial period a lot of these hybrids do not make through that uh, initial one or two months so I would say just wait for some time if you are a beginner, if you're just starting off with succulents because a lot of these rare hybrids are very difficult to handle, especially the initial stage. So wait for some time. You can always collect the other echeverias which are more hardy. Uh, there are certain hybrids of echeverias which are hardy. Apart from that, there are a lot of other natural species of echeverias as well which can easily get acclimated in your new environment 
and for beginners for people who are just starting off with succulents this is what is more important that your succulent gets acclimated with the new environment so guys that's all about it i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating